Hello there. So for this exercise, we got this space of real positive numbers. So in this case, u and v will be just real positive numbers and k will be any scalar. So basically, k could be any real number, even the negative ones. So the point is that in this vector space, the summation is defined in a very different way from the usual. So in this case, the, u the, the, the summation of this space B is defined as the usual multiplication and the scalar multiplication corresponds to the power. So just to give you some examples to illustrate how this vector uh, space work, if you take 2 plus 3, this will be actually 2 times 3 that is equal to 6. So that's why I'm using this notation to avoid confusions with the usual uh, symbols for the summation and multiplications. And the same I did for the scalar multiplication. So this uh, dot inside of the circle corresponds to the multiplication of in this vector space. And the same for the summation. And the other multiplication will be just defined by the just the position or just the dot pro the dot between the numbers. In the same way, for example, if we choose five plus uh, four, this will be five times four that is equals to twenty. So this is how this uh, space looks with respect to the summation and with respect to the scalar product for example 2 times 3 will be 3 squared that is equals to 9 and 3 uh, times 2 will be 2 cubed which is equals to 8 so just to, to, to illustrate how the scalar multiplication and the summation in this space work and just to, to give you another example for the scalar multiplication to show you that k could be even a negative number and doesn't affect the structure of the positive numbers inside of this vector space let's choose for example minus 2 and here times uh, 4 then this will be uh, 4 to the power of minus 2 which is equals to 1 over 16 which is still positive so there is no problem here it doesn't matter if this uh, scalar is a negative because the final result will be positive. So this is just to illustrate what's happening and one important remark before starting to what we need to do is that in this space the identity could be uh, quite confusing. Okay, so Let's consider the fourth axiom. So the fourth axiom say that there should exist the zero vector in this space, such that for any vector u in this vector space, u plus the zero vector returns you u. Okay. So in this case, we got u will be a positive number plus the zero vector should be equals to u. But the zero vector here is the power. So u times zero, the zero vector will be u. And you can infer what's going to be the value of the zero vector in this space. Well, the zero vector will be one. It's the only value that can take the zero vector in this space such that it returns you one, uh, the same vector. So, uh, to avoid confusions, I'm going to use this notation. E will be equals to the zero vector, that's going to be u, and this E will make less conflict with the, uh, the zero vector. Because you may say zero is equals to one, that well, that's a contradiction. Yeah, but this is not the zero in the whole sense of the, of the word, is the zero vector, is the zero in this space. So it's preferable to use the identity notation, so that means using the E. So now let's see what we need to do in this exercise. Well, in this exercise, we need to show how this expression will look like in the usual notation and reals. So for that, so we got here minus u. And what we're going to do first is sum uh, 
plus u in both sides so we got minus 1 u plus u and here you have something in this that this will be equals to the zero vector but we're going to use the different notation we're going to use the e this equals to minus 1 dot product and oh, sorry here I forgot here we are using the summation on the vector space here we go here is the multiplication of the vector space plus u then this e we know that the value is 1 and let's put this in the expressions in the usual expressions okay so this scalar multiplication corresponds to u to the power of minus 1 and u here plus u and then this summation is equal to the multi multiplication so we got u to the minus 1 times u is equal to 1 and we can see that it holds and we can find an expression for the inverse by putting that u to the minus 1 is equal to u to 1 over u as expected